Hi, this video is on how do I find my IEPs for the IEP students in my class. And it's really easy, but I didn't realize some people hadn't done that before, so I wanted to make a quick video on how to find your IEP students. So, if I go to my class, and um, I'm going to go and open my hardware class, and the easiest way is I go into my gradebook, and if I'm in my gradebook in my class, all I have to do is drop down to if you have any IEP students, and only if you have an IEP student, will you have a group automatically in a class that says NTIEP. When I click that, I will see whatever students have IEPs in my class, and I only have one in this class. If I click on their name, it brings me straight to their um, their profile, and right here at the, in the under the educational plan in the profile, I can click on that and then open, save. If I'm in Firefox, it'll just open. If I'm in Chrome, it will download and save it, the IEP. If you've got a class uh, like my advanced technology class uh, that has no IEP students, then that group does not even exist in there. There's no NT IEP group, so there's no way to do that. Now, I will point out that because Dazzle doesn't have a code for 504s, there is no way for me to automatically put 504 students in that group. Now, I know in the high school, they've loaded all the 504s for the students, but I have to look and know if a student's a 504. You can add him to or her to that group on your own though quite easily. So if I know I've got a 504 student, which I know I do, I can go down to users under the administration under users and groups. So I'm going to click on that NTIEP group and I want to add another student to that that I know is on a 504 so I remember to, re to reference that if I need to. So I can hit add or remove users and it's only going to show the students in my class and I know that this student is on a 504, so I can hit add, and then I'm done. So they're in that group. So now if I go to the same place I was before, if I go to my gradebook, and I go to NTIEP, now that student also shows up in that group. So I can, I can <coughs> easily find, if I need to reference that later, the 504 plan for that student just as easily. I wish there was an easy way to add 504 students to the um, IEP group so you know to look there but unfortunately um, there is no cat code in Dazzle and that's how they're linked to Moodle that indicates someone's on a 504 so you need to get um, with your um, IEP teacher to make sure you know what students are on your 504 and I would just add them to that group so that you know to reference that if, it, if you need to make any uh, different kinds of lesson plans or assessments uh, or accommodations for those students that you at least know who's on 504s and who's on IEPs. That's it for uh, finding the uh, IEP students. Uh, by the way, this is a link I made on my own thing that goes straight to the gradebook. Um, if you're going to do it, you could go down to gradebook setup and then go to view, which is why I made that link because that annoys me that I have to make uh, several clicks to get to the same place. Anyways, that's